mondta a Martesó, sok csajnak sokkal jobban áll a maszk. Mire gondolsz? Nézd, most hétet utazok a buszon, és észreveszem, hogy szemben, szemben ül velem egy, egy nagyon fullos lány. Egy páratlan szempárral figyelt engem. Szemeztetek? Aha, ne se vette rólam a szemét. És nem hiszed el, de ugyanannál a megállónál kellett leszállunk. Mm -hmm. Those ending credits. Wow. I feel like I'm going to have nightmares about that. Very visceral. Great job. <laughs> um, I really liked how this film was set up story-wise. Um, how they had the two boys just kind of in their own world, having a great time. Um, and then we see the this axe murderer stalking through the woods and dragging his axe behind him and we never see him fully um just his legs walking and so it's kind of intercut between these this fast intense danger scenes versus these two boys just like going on a nice walk and so i felt like it it did a really great job of raising the tension because it makes watching these boys it makes the audience feel really uncomfortable because we know what's coming before they do um so really great job and and Yeah, those those credits, very memorable. I, I really liked um, that creative creative way to do that. Um, yeah, this was this was a wonderful film. I wrote it was really dope. This was a masterclass in like building suspense, the intercutting of what we see, of the two guys in the body and then the killer coming. Masterclass in the intercutting to build tension and build and wind that tension, that slow burn, that Alfred Hitchcock. This was a masterclass in how to do that well. Also, I really like the cutting on the beat at the end. That was a nice touch. Um, so overall, it packed a punch for five minutes. It packed a punch, and it was really good, really, really uh, textbook tension building. So good job. So I really loved High Road. I think you guys, above all, did just an amazing job of capturing suspense. Like the cuts between the killer walking and only seeing his feet, and then the two characters walking together and talking was just super creepy. And then I love the way you revealed the body that you didn't reveal right away that they stumbled upon a dead body and that we kind of had to wait a moment. I think that was really smart and really added to the suspense. And the music matched super well. Um, and especially in the moment when the one character is confronted by the killer, the way it changed and slowed down kind of sounded like it was spinning out was super creepy and just really amazing and the shots at the end the point of view shots at the end during the credits was super terrifying and i thought it was super creative that you kind of matched the music with that and then also had the credits involved in that i thought it was super smart and well done so congratulations so first i want to say um very clever with the title <laughs> uh I, I get the connection and why it's called High Road. Um, didn't expect it to be a horror slash thriller, but I really like it when uh, films and shorts do that because it gets you in the mood because you don't expect it, but once you're hit with that dark, uh, that darker vibe, it, it things get tense very fast because it rips you out of that sense of uh, safety. And uh, one other thing that I definitely enjoyed was uh, the the, uh, the fact that the credits uh, cut in and out of um, the friend who ran away just getting beaten to death with a sledgehammer. Um, kind of as if it's like going in and out of consciousness. But uh, yeah, I thought that was a really... Uh, neat thing they did for the credits made it very interesting to uh s to watch them all and yeah i definitely enjoyed it the performances of the men were awesome as they moved from casual chatting to reacting to the injured man one taking the high road to try to help the man the other running off the sound design was also effective such as the shuffling leaves as the predator approaches and when the cheerful guitar music slows down and becomes out of tune when the predator attacks perhaps having revenge on the cruel young man great job so it wasn't that surprising the filmmaking wasn't that extraordinary uh but the closing sequence was pretty good when the guys just chopping as the pov of them chopping while they were getting the credits that was pretty good that was fairly creative But as a film overall, it just didn't really 
grab me. There was nothing incredibly fresh in it. Um, that's it. Cheers. I thought that this was really well acted. Not only was it really well acted, it was very well crafted. From the moment this started and how they decided to edit it, going back and forth between your two leading actors, and then you had this gentleman's legs that was dragging an ax behind him, it really started to build up the suspense. And the music helped with that as well. The sound effects towards the end, that steady beeping, like a heartbeat monitor that has just died, was I thought very, very clever and it really hit home. Um, I loved the twist at the end too. This was, this was a great five minute short film.